for Square. Blue Point Games is making a big game for the PlayStation 5, which we expect to be Demon's Souls remake. Of course, nothing's been confirmed at this stage, and the Texas-based developer is having fun with all the speculation in order to celebrate Halloween. It's composed a tweet which somehow manages to reference at least seven PlayStation-associated franchises. Uh, so here's the tweet, in case you haven't seen it. It's quite funny. Blue Point Games wrote on Twitter, So calm this spooky night. A sympathy, a sympathy of rumors, not one, but two, return from shadow, a resistance to dart home as black monsters escape twisted hills to wonderland and siphon souls, filter your candy collections soft from solid and be eco-friendly, have a metal Halloween. <laughs> uh, and then the article down below lists the titles that they we all presume we mentioned, which is Castlevania Symphony of Night, Demon Souls, Metal Gear Solid, Resistance, Siphon Filter, The Legend of Dragoon, and Twisted Metal. Uh, one thing they don't mention What's here- What's the Legend of Dragoon reference? The- Wait, hold on. Return to Shadow Resistance, Dark Black Home is Black Monsters. Uh, yeah. What, yeah, is what I believe. I haven't played it. I just think that's... What, I'm pretty sure that's one that I'm saying. Um, the other thing that I saw people pointing out on Twitter in the, like, responses to it which i think is also something of note maybe they say sympathy of rumors not one but two which people are like are they working on two games not just one that we've everyone's been presuming uh or is this whole tweet just one big troll is there no truth to be found (laughs) within the between the lines here at all are they they cancelling out all these franchises maybe they're like it's not any of them don't know. Uh, w- w- you got to appreciate the, the effort that went into this. Yeah, it was like, quite funny. Because <laughs> everyone in the... Th- the day it posted, everyone was like... I saw a heap of people sharing it and stuff. And I like, trying to be like, oh, it's this. It must be this. It's this. Oh, what's Cypher Field? Oh, you know, like... Oh, oh, you know, just really st- <laughs> stirred the rumor pot up a, uh, a little bit. It will be interesting to find out when they actually... I mean... I don't want to take anything from them being able to tweet out trolley sort of stuff like this, but I'm like, are they tweeting out stuff like this, meaning that maybe we'll actually find out soon? Like, you know what I mean? Like, are they teasing it somewhat because they're going to actually somewhat reveal it soon? I don't know. Like, are we in a world where even though the PS5 is releasing... Answer this. Are we in a world where they could actually reveal this at, like, the Game Awards? Yep, we are in a world like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I, I mean, it just depends on which game it is, I guess. Well, I reckon it's the biggest thing they've ever done. And I mean, as much, even if you don't like Shadow of the Colossus, that, that's one of the most loved yeah. games of all time. And they it's remade huge. that. So it's huge. So huge what, game. what's bigger? Out of on that, top of the Nathan Drake collection, which was all three yeah. Uncharted games. And it's like, what's bigger than that? Castlevania, no. Demon Souls, as much as everyone believes it's Demon Souls, I'm like, is Demon Souls bigger than Shadow of the fucking Those. Colossus? And you know, like, I no. To a very small market, I guess. So yeah, it's no. like, so out of the full list, and then you got Resistance, Siphon Field, Legend of Dragoon, Twisted Metal. The one that the one that is would actually be acceptable as bigger would be Metal Gear Solid, in my opinion. Yeah, but I don't see how that works considering Konami. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, and the only what three of those are actual Sony properties. Yes. So resistance siphon filter twisted metal. Yes. Yes. And so you would assume so potentially one of those. And if it was to be one of those, I guess resistance is the biggest one of those. It would could be like a three game collection bigger than. Of those three options, that's the biggest one. I guess. I mean, I, I would happily take it. I, I've said before, I I really, really like Re- Resistance, and I wish they could still make them. But that was my preferred over Killzone. But um, bigger than those other games I've already done? No, I don't think so. But S- Siphon Filter. No. I absolutely love Siphon Filter. If, if they remade the first Siphon Filter, I would flip my fucking lid. I played those games on repeat when I was a kid. I would go to a friend's house and we would just play through start to finish, start to finish of the first three Siphon Fields over and over and over and over. So if they remade that, I would flip my lid. But at the same time, I'm like, realistically, are they remaking Siphon Filter? 
Probably not. <laughs> you know, like such no. a they ain't gonna sell well, I don't think. Like <laughs> maybe in today's no, age, yeah. the first game's literally about <laughs> terrorists setting off like fucking toxic bombs in New York City and shit. I don't know. Days gone's out, there's a tie in, the games are connected. Let's all Yeah. Do that as a thing. Twisted metal. I mean no, I just don't think that's big either. I, I, I honestly don't know. Maybe it's nothing here. Maybe it's nothing here. Maybe it is Demon Souls. Yeah. But even then, I'm like... I mean, maybe this is another game they're working on. And they're still... Their other big one is still in the works. They've not mentioned. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to like hope that maybe they're saying this because they're allowed to tease it now because they might be announcing something come Game Awards or something like that. But I seriously had Who even- knows? They can just tease stuff at any point in time. Well, yeah, we still don't know what freaking WB. Rocks, Rocksteady, WB, whatever. What, what, what Montreal is doing. Yeah. I I never clicked onto this until I started thinking about that. But I was like, holy shit. We're approaching the Game Awards this year where I would presume most of the world reveals and world, you know, that sort of stuff is actually world going premium. to be um, next gen stuff. Right. You know, they're not going to be Maybe. world revealing anything in the stopping current gen. So basically, all of the stuff we'll be seeing is next gen. Well, they surely. could. Well, they could, but I, I, I do you not think that stuff most that's of- releasing July, August, yeah, before. But, but I, the only reason I think this is because most of the time, if you think back at what's shown at Game Awards, it's usually stuff that's like a year to two years away. Like it's all usually like quite. Ages away. Like, think about uh, the Campo Santos, uh, the photography thing. You know? Yeah, that's true. Still haven't seen that for That's ages. different. That's an indie game. But then you think of uh, Far Cry New Dawn. They came out, like, yeah. three months well, later. We could get a mix of that, you know? Like, it, I, I, yeah. actually, I expect them to reveal Far Cry again, possibly. I wouldn't, I, would, I wouldn't put that past it. And they could release that, obviously, March, April, or something like that. But at the same time, we could be getting a mix of, like, that. And then World Reveal Blue Point Games is remaking... Resistance. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll say interesting. Um, 